My name is Wahid. I'm a, a producer and director, and I own and operate WA Films, a production company here in Tennessee. Well, can you give us just a little log line for um, on, on Jasir? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a story about an orphan Syrian refugee that gets resettled in Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, his next door neighbor, who uh, is an opiate addicted uh, uh, conservative lady and just the trials and tribulations that he goes through along his journey. He meets uh, a rapper who is also a cook in the same kitchen he works at. It's just really about the journey of all these three characters and, and their trials and tribulations in the city of Memphis when you're all poor. Are there some places in this story that cross over into your own life story as well? Yeah, I'm an immigrant myself. Been here for about 21 years. Uh, and a little bit of it is based on, you know, observations that I've had uh, just between both immigrant communities. And, you know, I came in as a teenager, so I, I had the benefit of being with a lot more uh, kids my age in school. So you get to learn the American ways a lot faster, you know, than, than like, let's say, my parents' generation. Uh, and, and we talk about that in the film. And it really, truly is a southern, gritty Memphis film. It just has a Syrian, Syrian refugee in it, you know? So, I mean, Jasir is your first feature length, um, at least directorial debut. Um, can you tell us a bit about your experience with writing it and directing it? You know, I'll tell you what. I was so scared. I was so scared before the first day. But what was beautiful about it is you go, okay, you know, you have to carry the whole story. You know, the tone and making sure you're not overacting or underacting and the consistency between all the technical elements. And the experience was very rewarding. Uh, it's really beautiful to write something. You know, you're four in the morning sitting at your laptop by yourself, your fifth coffee in, right? You're like typing some stuff on a, a plastic keyboard that you translated from something you read handwritten. And then four or five years later, it's like, yeah, there's the there's the duplex and there's the shanty fence that I wanted. And there's everything. And there's the actor saying the lines exactly how it's written and the camera's moving on. It's just, you can't, that's such a high. Like you can't get that from any drug. Getting and landing a really well-known actress, um, you know, for this. Was it difficult trying to direct somebody, you know, at that caliber? So the, the high caliber actor we're talking about is Lorraine Bracco, right? And, and so this is public knowledge and, and she was fantastic. I was probably 10 when I saw Taxi Driver. It's the first Scorsese film that I saw when I was a kid in Jordan. And then you grow up and then you have the Sopranos and you get into Goodfellas and you get into all that stuff. And then, you know, all of a sudden now, OK, I'm, I'm getting to direct Miss Lorraine. I call her Miss Lorraine, sorry, because it's awesome. I love her to death. I got so lucky. She was very, very, very good at not being selfish with her craft just by sharing like her craft with all of us. It was really more like a mentorship than anything else. You know, it wasn't like difficult. There was no ego behind it. Miss Lorraine herself just made the process so amazing that it was really just so beneficial to have someone of her caliber become also a mentor on set for a first time feature director. So it was it was great. I had a blast. You mentioned Wonky that, the, uh, that Memphis is also a character. Can you talk a little bit about how Memphis plays that role in the film? The texture of Memphis is what really attracted me to make it a character because it's it's been rebounding and it's been rebounding in a very, very beautiful way. You know, our art crosses in every way here, you know, between um, you can go see Al Capone play an Opus One with Mei Ann Shin with a full orchestra behind him while he's like, you know, Memphis, Memphis rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that is so unique, you know, and, and that is such a Memphis thing. I just wanted to capture that. And that's why I chose Memphis and that's why I wanted to set it in Memphis. What would be, you know, the top thing that, that you want people watching this to, to walk away with? Man, it's the oldest trove in, in the books. Don't judge a book by its cover. Go talk to people, <laughs> you know, go talk to people and find your community, you know, because Every now and then you may think you have your community, but then you find yourself lonely. And when you are that way, the people that you thought you'd never talk to are your best friend. Uh, we're, we're very, very excited to, uh, to, to see this uh, movie come out. Um, and, and we're extremely honored to have it associated with our state. And I really wanna um, thank you for your time. 
No, I thank you for your time and I thank you for the kind, kind hospitality. And I'm not going to say Southern hospitality anymore, just hospitality. It's great. Thank you so much. (laughs) 